Thanks so much for joining us this evening. My name is Laura Johnson and I work with the Division of Consortia Choice and Application Program Services. You are here to learn more about the MCPS One Way of Language Immersion Programs in French, Chinese, and Spanish. Tonight, you will hear from our World Languages Supervisor, our Immersion Lead Teachers, and then we will address some frequently asked questions. Finally, we will talk about the timeline and process to complete an Immersion Interest Lottery form. First, I'd like to introduce Ms. Francoise van der Plas, the MCPS World Languages Supervisor. Thank you, Laura, and thank you for your interest in the Montgomery County Public Schools one-way immersion programs. Our immersion programs in MCPS have been in existence for close to 50 years. Just like many similar programs across the United States, ours started with a small group of parents who truly believed and understood the importance of being bilingual and biliterate. This group of parents advocated on behalf of their students, and as a result, MCPS opened the first French immersion program in the United States in 1974. Nowadays, our immersion programs consist of a robust K-8 articulation. We have programs in Chinese, French, and Spanish. Our Chinese programs are partial immersion programs, which means that students spend about half their day learning content in the target language. Our French and Spanish programs are full immersion programs, which means that students spend the majority of their day learning content in the target language. At the middle school level, students usually have at least one class in their target language. By continuing to study the same target language in high school, students will be able to reach high levels of proficiency and potentially earn the Maryland seal of biliteracy. Whether students are in partial immersion or full immersion, they will learn the exact same content at as, as every other student in Montgomery County with the benefit of a second language. Historically, our students in immersion performed as well, if not better than their counterpart on national tests. So let's go and meet the immersion team leaders and let's see what each program has to offer. Bonjour, my name is Nellie Thompson and I am the French Immersion Coordinator at Sligo Creek Elementary School. We are located in the old Blair High School in downtown Silver Spring. We are also the oldest French Immersion program in the nation along with Maryvale. And we are what is considered a full one-way French Immersion classroom. That means that 90% of the student's school day from kindergarten until third grade is in the target language French. That means that their academics are all in French. In our school, we have two classes for each grade level. So we have two kindergarten classes through fifth grade. In our program, as of fourth grade, the students start to learn English. That means a second semester of the school year for an hour and a half a week, once a week, the students will get direct instruction on written expression and a little bit of reading. In our program, what you can expect for those kindergartners and first graders and even second graders just starting in our program for the first time is a lot of singing, action, movement, and repetition. And that is because that is a strategy to help the students understand and make sense what their teachers are telling them. Before you know it, within a month or two, they'll come home singing some of those songs that they learn in the classroom and asking key questions. A bientôt! Bonjour, je m'appelle Michelle Anne E.B. Riley, and I'm the French team leader here at Maryville Elementary. As a K-5 one-way French immersion program, we teach the Montgomery County Public School curriculum, but the only difference is we do it all in French. Our teachers speak French all day long to our students, starting on their very first day of kindergarten. Our students respond in French starting on December 1st of their first grade year. 
So imagine your child sharing his or her results of a science experiment all in French. Imagine your child debating the value of extra playground equipment in French. Imagine your child reading, writing, speaking spontaneously in French with his or her fellow classmates. How are we unique? We are unique in the fact that we've earned the La Belle France Education seal. It is an official accreditation by the French government, and to date, only 54 schools in the United States have earned it. In addition, we are unique in the fact that we are now teaching children of my former students. We are unique in the fact that we have former French immersion students who are now teaching in our building. And it is a pleasure to speak in French with them in the hallways or the staff lounge. So, what are the benefits of a language immersion program? One of the core benefits is the development of cultural competence. That is an ability to understand, communicate, and effectively interact with people across cultures. An essential 21st century skill. Merci et au revoir. Hola, hello. I am Gloria Planner, the team leader for the Spanish Immersion Program at Burnt Mills. This is my seventh year at Burnt Mills, and I absolutely love our school and program. One reason why Burnt Mills is so special is that our student population is so diverse. We have over 25 languages and cultures represented at our school, which makes for an exciting and diverse experience. One exciting fact is that we are getting a new building. As of right now, we are scheduled to move into our brand new building within a few years. At Burnt Mills, we do give preference to our local scholars within our school boundaries first. We currently have about 55% of our immersion students that are local Burnt Mills students and 45% that are from the rest of the county. On that note, we do provide bus transportation to our program from central stops located throughout the county. There are many special things about our program at Burnt Mills. Our teachers are like a family. They truly love bringing the Latino culture and language to our scholars. We always find ways to have fun with teaching and learning. Our scholars get to design our school's immersion t-shirts. We have events such as a pumpkin patch during harvest time, a multicultural festival, different speakers, readers, parent volunteers, and cultural assemblies. But my absolute favorite event is at the end of the year when we have over 300 immersion family members that attend and we celebrate our scholars' achievements in Spanish. Our students do a variety of performances and it is always the highlight of our year. Feel free to send me an email if you have any further questions about Burnt Mills and our Spanish Immersion Program. Hasta pronto! Hello, my name is Zolik Zeron. I'm the lead immersion teacher at Rock Creek Forest Elementary School. Rock Creek Forest offers a full immersion program in grades K through 5. RCF is the first Spanish immersion school in MCPS. It started in 1977. Students in grades K through 5 spend the majority of their day learning content in the target language. At RCF, we provide our students with a variety of fun and enriching activities. It's a home to two mascots, Tigre and Takira. We have a Tigers News Network, weekly musical performances called Tiger Tunes, cultural arts performances throughout the year, and our own fall festival, Steam Night, and Multicultural Night, among many other events loved by our students and families. There are so many benefits to learning a language. Research shows that language immersion and education provides benefits in academic achievement, mental flexibility, and cognitive skills. A parent who is interested in immersion is giving their child the gift of language. The gift increases appreciation for people, culture, and language. Students are able to achieve advanced proficiency skills 
And as they complete their high school education, students will be able to earn the Maryland Seal of Biliteracy. Our staff and students make RCF a magical place to learn. Make sure you check our website for more information. Hope to see you soon. Welcome, my name is Mary Carmen Mimenza and I'm the Spanish Immersion Team Leader at William Tyler Page Elementary School. Thank you for your interest in the Montgomery County Public Schools Immersion Program. Our school has about 620 students of many diverse backgrounds. Our school is very fortunate to have one-way immersion. We have kindergarten to fifth grade Spanish Immersion classes. One thing that makes our program very unique is that we also offer world language class as a special for our second graders through fifth graders. In addition, we host culturally diverse activities for all our students throughout the school year. A typical day in a Spanish immersion class is not much different from that of an English Academy class. We offer whole group and small group instruction in the classroom in the target language. While students go to specials where instruction is in English, we have amazing teachers, two immersion teachers and three English Academy teachers at each grade level. Please join us at our open house in the upcoming months. I look forward to working with you and your students in the upcoming school year. Hello, I'm Elisa Gann, the Chinese Immersion Coordinator at Bayard Rustin Elementary School. For the last six years, I've taught kindergarten and first grade in our Chinese Immersion program. Our program is a partial immersion program in which students learn math, science, and social studies solely in Chinese and reading and writing in English. Students in this program have two teachers, a Chinese teacher and an English teacher, and will have the same teachers for two consecutive years. On a typical day, students start with either their Chinese teacher or their English teacher and switch halfway through the day. Students learn the same Eureka math and benchmark reading curricula as their English only peers in MCPS. Students acquire the language in an environment where they explore and apply different academic concepts using the target language Chinese. Students attend lunch and recess with their grade level peers. Students also participate in specials, which include art, music, PE, and media center, which are all taught in English. There is one Chinese immersion class for each grade level. Our Chinese immersion program services the entire Montgomery County and MCPS provides transportation to and from school. Please check out our Bayard Rustin Elementary School website in early spring for more information on our upcoming virtual open house and the lottery process. Thank you. Hello, my name is Zhi Anjiang. You can simply call me Z. I'm the lead teacher of the Chinese Immersion Program at Potomac Elementary School. And our program started in 1996. And uh, for the past 20 years, our program consistently have about 150 students and four teachers. And it's a partial immersion program. That's what they call it. Basically, the student will spend half the day, about two hours, with the Chinese teacher. They will learn math and science with the Chinese teacher. Then they will spend another half day with the English teacher working on the reading and the writing aspect of the curriculum. One thing I want to mention is very special about our program. For the past about 20 years, almost every year, the parents organize a China trip for our fifth grade students. And I cannot wait you know, to see another trip happening. And uh, we are going to organize some open houses for next year. Right now, we don't have the final dates yet. But please looking out for those days and by visiting our website. Thank you for watching and I cannot wait to see you. Bye. Now that you've learned about our fantastic programs, let's talk about how to apply. An application needs to be submitted for each interested student 
and they must have an MCPS ID number. To obtain the ID number, please reach out to your local neighborhood school after February 1st and submit all of the documents required for enrollment. Once you have the ID number, you can access the link to submit the immersion interest form on our website. The lottery is run using a computer assisted process that takes into consideration a number of factors, including space, sibling link or sibling factor, eligibility, and number of applicants. After the lottery is run, our office will email notifications to the email address provided when you submitted the interest form. For each of the programs that you've applied for, it will indicate an invitation or a waitlist number. Notifications will be sent out in mid-May and any initial invitation would need to respond within five days. Our office will keep waitlists open through the end of the first semester. If any seat becomes available, we will invite in order of the waitlist. Let's turn it over to John for some frequently asked questions. Now we have some members from our team here to discuss frequently asked questions. My first question goes to Laura. Is there transportation to the immersion programs? MCPS does provide transportation for our immersion students for most of our programs. These stops are located centrally and usually at a local school or community center. Parents are responsible for bringing their student to and from that central stop. Potomac Elementary School only provides transportation for their local families. Thank you. Another question is, who is eligible? This question is for Elisa. Thanks, John, for your question. All kindergarten through fifth grade students who are residents in Montgomery County are eligible to apply for all programs. If your child is going into second through fifth grade, they will have to pass a language proficiency assessment. Thank you. Michelle Ann, can my child participate in more than one lottery? Absolutely, John, because each lottery is run independently. So a parent can demonstrate their interest in one or multiple immersion programs all on that one entry form that is found on the MCPS website. The next question goes to Francoise. Does, can my child participate in the immersion in middle school? So John, that is a great question. For the middle school, students actually have a couple of choices. They can continue at the feeder school immersion program. They can return to their local middle school or they can be considered for a regional program. A notice of intent will be sent to parents of all grade five immersion students asking them to indicate their intentions for middle school. Thank you. And Dolly, can a child get into the immersion programs after kindergarten? Yes, indeed, John. Students in grade one may apply and enter the program through the lottery process. In grades two to five, students will need to pass a language assessment to be admitted to the program. The assessment will measure reading, writing, and speaking skills in the target language. Now back to Michelle Ann. How are the students notified of the results of the lottery? John, thank you so very much for that question. So here we go. So once the lottery is conducted, all the families who participate in the lottery will be notified via MCPS. You will be notified around mid-May but if you are not invited to a program, a wait list will be created and it will be maintained. The order of the wait list is completely random. So a family will be invited off of the wait list once a vacancy occurs in a particular program. But the key component is that that child be enrolled in MCPS at that time. So once a family has been invited, and a family has accepted a position, your child's name will be removed from all the other wait lists. So the lottery occurs in May, the wait list is maintained all the way through January of the following year. Thank you. Thanks, and another question for Elisa is, what is a typical day in the immersion program? Thanks, John. There are no major schedule differences between immersion students versus non-immersion students. The only difference is that some or all of their classes will be taught in the target language. If your child is in a partial immersion program, then some of the classes will be taught in the target language. If your child is in a full immersion program, then all of their core classes will be taught in the target language. Will my child's homework be translated into English? Thanks, John, for that question. Unfortunately not. Students will be sent homework to help 
them review what was taught and intended to be completed independently. The homework will only be given in the target language. We do ask parents to not translate for the students as it will limit the students in learning the new language. If your child, however, does not understand the assignment, you can always send a note to the teacher. The teacher will then be able to assist the student and reteach the concept in the target language. Thank you. And the next question goes to Nellie. How can I help my child? Thanks, John. There are so many ways for you to be able to support your child in an immersion program. First of all, remember their first experiences in an immersion program is requiring lots of extra brain work from them to make sense of what their teacher is saying in another language. So the best suggestions we give is to give them time to come home from school and decompress from what was probably a very mind challenging day. After that, we re recommend that providing them a space in their home for them to be able to review their work and complete their homework, as well as providing as many authentic materials as you can. That means reading materials, both books and online materials in the target language. We say that because the more practice and experience they get in that language, the more proficient and comfortable they become, both expressing themselves orally, but also in writing. After that, we recommend that, of course, if you have any concerns about your child, not only in class, but also maybe with homework, that you reach out to your teacher. You and your teacher are your child's team, and together you can come up with solutions to help them be as proficient and successful as they can. Now back to Dolly. Will special education services be in the target language? Uh, thank you, John, for your question. Special education services are only provided in English. However, students will receive differentiated and small group instruction from their classroom teacher. If a student has an IEP, the support would only be provided in English by the homeschool model teacher. Thank you. And the last question goes to Dr. Z. Does my child need experience in the language to be eligible? That's a great question because that's a yes and no question. Let me give the no part. No language experience is needed for any child who wants to join our immersion program. However, any child who wants to join us at the second grade level or higher, he or she must have passed a language proficient test. Thank you for your question. Our next question is for Gloria. What's the difference between local immersion programs and countywide immersion programs? Good question, John. Local program means that during the lottery process, schools give preference to students within the school's boundary first. After that, they extend the lottery to the rest of the county. Thank you for choosing to attend our meeting. Remember, the process begins February 1st. Also, remember to check out the website for each school for their immersion interest meetings. We hope to see you there.